we're we're getting really close to one of your big events for the year, the, the Chili Festival. What are you hearing about Chili Festival this year? Um, it's off and running, ready to go. We've got cooks coming from Texas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, uh, of course, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. So <clears throat> it's real exciting having all those people come. We expect about 5,000 to be in downtown Belton that day. Combo Kings will be playing, so come on and plan to eat a lot of chili. Um, the judging rooms are open, so if you weren't interested in being a judge, just show up the day of the the event and we'd love to have you judge. And there are a lot of people probably in this country that know Belton for the South Carolina Chili Cook-Off. That's right, right. that's right. It, it's, it's growing and we're becoming famous for our, our, our Chili Cook-Off. Gene Jameson does an outstanding job. Um, he goes to other events and talks to the cooks and finds out, you know, what they want, what brings them here, and he, he I can't say enough how, how good of a job he does for this event. We appreciate him. What other events going into the spring here is going on Belton? Well, we'll start our downtown sounds on May 14th. Combo Kings will kick that off. And we'll have four um, four months of, of that activity. And then starting in the fall will be our movie nights coming in. But we'll talk more about that in the fall. And kids sports, I guess, are underway. How's the sports recreation it, program? It's going one? great. Baseball and softball up and running now. And um, it's been seeing it on Facebook. They're having a good time and wide open. And we've talked about this in the past downtown. Is there any, any more um, uh, research or, or ideas going into the idea of maybe redoing traffic downtown so y'all have can lock, lock things down a little more? Um, not that I've been talk, talk, no, not of late. What else is going on downtown? Well, um, our downtown El, El Paso is going to have a um, Cinco de Mayo night. Um, they're going to um, use one end of the downtown where their store is and have a festival, and it'll be a kind of a family night. Any other new businesses? or? We've got some renovations going down downtown. Um, we have not been told what the, those buildings might be yet, but a um, few part, apartments are going in. That'll be, you know, fun if anybody wants to have downtown living. So we're just waiting on the renovations to be done and for the them to let us know what's what's going to happen. And the News Chronicle's moved. It's moved down just the next block over. Still downtown, but they have moved. And you mentioned housing. What's the housing startups looking like here? It's going great. We The past couple months, we've got 22 new taps put in, which means 22 new homes and 19 sewer taps. And most of these homes are selling, you know, 250 to 300,000. So it's, it's, it's decent homes. Are y'all getting a lot of inquiries about Belton, about living here and all? I mm -hmm. mean, this area seems mm -hmm. to be growing. Um, our administrator gets calls just about every day. Um, people wanting land, um, wanting to be here. Um, it's, it's pretty strong. Feel good about it. How about the trail? I know that y'all have still been meeting and there's a lot of little details to work out. Where are we at on the trail? The Belton, I'm talking about the Belton Anderson Trail. Right, right. Um, Kind of our focus right now is just in the city limits of Belton. Um, so probably in the next month or two, we'll know more about what we're going to be able to do. But I feel real good that something exciting is going to happen with that. And for people who don't know what we're talking about, remind people how important this trail would be to both Anderson and Belton. Well, it, it would just open up. It would be very similar to the Swamp Rabbit Trail going to Traveler's Rest, and if people would um, think back on that, it just made Traveler's Rest boom. And, you know, that would be such a shot in the arm for us. Um, very exciting. But it's just where people want to be now. It's amazing how many people will load up their bikes and drive to Greenville and bike all over Greenville County, and we want them to stay in Anderson County. You know, we got a lot to offer here. How about other recreation? I mean, this is still a big tennis town. Anything mm -hmm. coming up big? Word? Well, the, the tennis tournament's coming up. So, um, you know, of course, the Tennis Association does that, so I don't have a whole lot of details on that, but they always do a fantastic job pulling that off. Our pickleball courts are starting to be built. Um, we're doing our soil testing right now, um, and that will hopefully we'll have those up and running midsummer. Um, maybe and you're sooner. telling me pickleball has become popular for just not just old folks anymore. 
Yes, the young people are really taking off with it. Um, it it's I wouldn't be surprised if it won't be a high school sport soon. Just my opinion, but I think it's going to head that way. Any other recreation news? I mean, is there anything added to the trail or just just being used a lot? Or the, the Belton um, Trail? I'm talking about the uh, the uh, the bu bubblegum trail. Yeah. No, would it's it's all same with equipment still on there. The exercise equipment and the um, that's all in place. We do have our kayak paddleboard kiosk that will be installed in about two weeks down at the Mike Gambrel um, landing on the Saluda River. You'll be able to swipe your credit card, get a kayak, get a paddleboard, your life jackets, and spend the day out on the river. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's a real the belt big deal. is part of the Blue Trail. Mm -hmm. and... mm -hmm. But you, you swipe your credit card, get a, get a paddle boat, paddleboard, or, or kayak, and Go have a good day on the river. That's the only one I know where you can do that all in one place. Is that mm -hmm, right? I, mm -hmm. think it, I don't think they have them at Timberman or in Dolly the, the closest one I know of of a kiosk like this is down in Johnsonville. What else is going on in Belton? You've got any economic development activity coming on? Um, of course, the buildings I've been talking about downtown that are being renovated, and we've yet to find out what they're going to bring in. Um, there is a national chain that's still looking for property here. We're we're working real hard with them to try and um, find them a good spot. We haven't been able to do that yet. You know, as I've said before, you know these properties are owned by private people, and if they don't want to sell, we can't make them sell. But we are working hard trying to get that to come here. So just keeping our fingers crossed that we can work that out. Anything else you and council have identified y'all want to work on going into summer or y'all things y'all are working on? Um, not, that, not at this time. Um, our biggest deal right now is our $10 million um, water project. We, we're updating our lift stations and a lot of our water lines. We're very excited that the whole project came in 30% below projected. So we're going to be able to add more water lines and replace a lot of fire hydrants. So that was very exciting that, you know, we're going to get a lot more bang for our buck with that. Um, and we have recently had our audit report, and it came back very favorable. We're in very sound shape financially here in the city. So, um, you know, anybody's welcome to come up here and get a copy of the audit, but um, very proud of that. Any other infrastructure stuff? Y'all got any road work going on or anything? Not under our watch. Um, the state just paved O'Neill, which was, a, you know, that was very much needed, and we appreciate that. Um, we have been working for years to try and get the money to get the Lidapur Park project started. Um, Jan Bratcher, uh, Joey Lance, uh, Administrator Sims, and Assistant Administrator Gambrell and myself we worked on a national grant with the NP, um, NPR, National Park Systems. Well, we came in first in the state, so that grant will be bumped up to the federal level. Um, we feel real good about it. The grant was for $350,000, and the committee that reads that grant has recommended that we receive a half a million dollars. So if we can get that grant, um, that'll be a big lick in getting that project taken care of. And that that's a big goal of ours. We, we really need to get that going. And if we can get that amount of money, um, that'll be a big, big thing for us. Mm -hmm.